Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. My name is Maulina Farhana. I'm from Class A of Agrotechnology, Faculty of Agriculture, Muria Kudus University. In this video, I will describe about rules for atom, the final segment of English lesson. The general description about rows. Rose is a type of a short plant from the genus Rosa in the family of Rosaceae. Rose are native to Asia with smaller number being native to North America and a few to Europe and Northwest Africa. Many roses are cultivated for their beautiful flowers and delightful fragrance. The next description is about the part of rose. Roses have seven parts in its body. Each part has a specific function for growth. The part of rose is flower, leaf, bud, fruit, thorn, stem, and root. The first part of the rose is a stem. The primary function of the stem are to transport water and product of photosynthesis and to support a part of rose plant. The second part is flower. The rose flower is made up of male and female reproductive parts surrounded by sepals and petals. The rose flower have many colors and have their own meaning. The next part of rose is bud. A rose bud is a young rose whose petals have not yet opened out fully. The next part of rose is fruit. Special for species Rosa rugosa, they have fruit called rose hip. The next part of rose is leaf. Rose leaves are described as pinnate. That means there is a central rib and then leaflets off to each side with one terminal leaflet. And the last part of rose is a root. The function of the roots is for stabilize the plant and absorb nutrients from soil. Rose have a special part in its body. Their special part is thorn. Rose have a thorn to protect themselves from bugs and animals such as deer and rabbits and humans. The thorn serve the function of keeping any intruders away. The growing condition of rose. For show the best rose growth, rose bushes should receive six to eight holes of sunlight each day. They also be planted in well-drained soil rich in organic matter. In very hot climate, roses are best protected from the hot afternoon sun. In cold climate, planting rose bushes next to a south or west facing fence or walls can help minimize winter frost damage. The origin of frost. Most frost species are native to Asia with smaller number being native to North America and a few to Europe and Northwest Africa. Frosts from different regions of the world hybridize readily giving rise to type that overlap the parental form and making it difficult to determine basic species. Fewer than 10 species, mostly native to Asia, were involved in the crossbreeding that ultimately produced today many types of garden roses. The use of roses. Number one, roses are usually used as perfume and commercial cut flower crops. Rose are usually used as perfume because they're delightful fragrance. And number two, roses are best known as ornamental plants grown for their flowers in the garden and sometimes indoors. And number three, the rose hip is high in vitamin C and can be used in taste or preserves. Rose hip is a special fruit from genus Rosa rugosa. 
that's all for me. Thank you so much for watching my video. I would like to apologize if there is a mistake. Hope you have a nice day. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. See you.